Hey everyone, Matumbo here. Welcome back to the channel and today we are playing some more Historic here on Magic Arena and I have another exciting deck to bring to you today but before we hop right into today's deck I want to just remind everybody if you enjoy the deck, the channel, the gameplay, anything please like, comment, subscribe, check out all the cool links down below, join the Discord, hop on over to Twitch, drop us a follow over there and you can be a part of the deck making process and have a say in what we play in these videos. So again that is twitch.tv slash bamatumbo would love to see you there. But let's just hop right into today's deck, and we are playing Nightmare's Blessing. So this deck, uh, a big shout out to Skovax over on Etherhub. They had originally posted this deck or this shell of a deck. We made just a couple of adjustments, and um, this deck is super sweet. It's a lot of fun. Um, very, very uh, grindy, very controlly, but without having to play all of those pesky, like, counter spells or you know single removal spell so again this is a lot of fun thank you again skovax for the deck so their version had white in the deck for some uh farewells i didn't really feel like they fit they fit in the deck at least not the way that i wanted to play and plus i only had two farewells and i didn't really feel like crafting two more that's that's the honest truth but um so let's take a look at this deck and um we're just gonna go over this so again this is a uh just a control shell mainly blue black green so we are going to be doing a salt eye control um lots of planeswalkers so this is kind of a super friends deck but at the same time a controlled a control shell so we're gonna go over all the cards we do have um a few creatures that you may feel like they're out of place but i promise you they worked really well uh first thing we're gonna cover is prosperous innkeeper so with prosperous innkeeper um Firstly, right, you might be thinking, why not play an elf or, or a man, any kind of mana dork other than Prosperous Innkeeper? Well, again, we do get a body that we don't necessarily care about blocking with. We get uh, a treasure, which we only really care about using once. And we also could potentially gain uh, life if we play any of our other creatures. Uh, and this will kind of help stem the bleeding. Because, again, not caring about blocking with this body in the form of Prosperous Innkeeper can make the difference. So we are playing four copies of Valky, God of Lies. Valky not only being a creature to gain his life with the Prosperous Innkeeper, but it also does, you know, provide a little bit of hand disruption, not the hand disruption you would normally get with a card like um, Thought Seize or Inquisition of Kozilek or Duress. But really we're playing this because again, it is a really busted Planeswalker on the other side to Balt. Seven mana uh, gets to do all kinds of exiling, gets to um, cast stuff, from exile and um, can be really, really busted. And last but not least, the other creature I want to hit on was going to be Gloom Shrieker. Now, I've never actually played Gloom Shrieker. This card was released on Arena while um, I was kind of taking a hiatus. But this is essentially a, another version of Eternal Witness, and it's it's not as bad as it looks on the outside, right? So it's still a three mana, two one, just like Eternal Witnesses. It has Menace, so it does get some evasion. And at the same time, it says when it enters the battlefield, you get to return target permanent card from your graveyard to your hand. So this is gonna allow us to bring back any of our Planeswalkers um, or maybe a land that had gone to our graveyard um, through one of our other Planeswalkers that um, could, could come into play. Uh, if it would die, it does get exiled, so you can't start looping it with, uh, with itself or, or with other copies of Gloom Shrieker or anything like that, but it still serves the purpose that we're looking for. And this is, I, I promise, when you watch the games that, that, that we've already played, Gloom Shrieker is an MVP. I love this card. All right, so we are doing a bunch of ramp stuff. We are playing four copies of Cultivate. Again, with Prosperous Innkeeper, um, we do get to do, you know, Cultivate still on turn still on turn three but we do get access to extra mana because we are going to have this extra token um we are playing binding of the old gods this is a great removal spell it's going to search us out of land on chapter two um but it, but really mainly right chapter one we're going to be able to destroy a non-land permanent this card is great again it's a permanent we get to get back with gloom shrieker a lot of great synergies here we are playing four copies of tamio collector of tales this is great tamio has two great um passive abilities in the form of your opponent can't make you discard cards and they can't make you sacrifice permanence. So I promise great passive ability, but on, but else uh, Tamio does, you get to name a non-land card for the uptick. And if you look at top four cards, you any of those are the name card, whether it be one, two, three, or four copies, all to your hand and then the rest go to your graveyard. This is gonna synergize 
while we're digging, we're going to be able to potentially mill Guy's Blessing because we're never going to name Guy's Blessing and then all of our cards are going to get shuffled back in. And then also Tamiyo has a regrowth of effect for minus three, being able to return target card from your graveyard. So we're going to be able to play a Tamiyo, possibly down ticket to bring back maybe a Binding of the Old Gods or a Cultivate or another Planeswalker or, or another mass removal spell. And we're just going to basically just keep the control going. And that's how we're really going to help just kind of stall the game until we win. Ashiok, Nightmare Muse, super powerful Planeswalker, five mana for five loyalty, uptick for plus one. We get to create a two, three blue and black creature. And it says whenever this creature attacks or blocks, we exile the top two cards of our opponent's library. Minus three, we get to bounce something and then they exile something from their hand. And then minus seven, we get to cast up to three spells from among cards. Um that our opponent has that have been exiled. So again, we're going to be playing our opponent's deck against them and we're going to, I promise, we're gonna love it. Uh, last but not least, we have three copies of Casualties of War. Casualties of War is one of the coolest cards I feel like. It's got five different modes that you can choose. Yes, you only get to choose one of, uh, you only get to destroy one of each of those things, but for six mana, being able to destroy up to five things is pretty powerful. And last but not least, the uh, the other card that we added. So we had added three copies of Casualties, Casualties of War. Uh, Skovax was not playing this. They were also not playing Blood on the Snow. So we put these in over the Farewells. Um, and we changed our mana base up a little bit. So Blood on the Snow, six mana. You get to either destroy all creatures or destroy all Planeswalkers. And then you get to return a creature or Planeswalker card with mana value X or less equal to the amount of snow mana that we play. So we are playing 14 basic snow lands because we are playing four copies of Cultivate. So we are gonna be able to search these out. So essentially anytime we have between two to, to five uh, you know, snow lands, we're gonna get value. We're gonna be able to do crazy things like uh, Blood on the Snow, bring back Tamiyo from the graveyard, down tick Tamiyo for minus three to bring back the Blood on the Snow. And our opponent at that point is just never going to have creatures in play again because every turn we're going to be able to potentially do that, even if they're able to destroy our Tamiyo. We're just still going to be going back and forth, back and forth. So again, really, really great. We do have uh, six Triomes in the deck. We have four copies of the World Tree. Uh, again, World Tree, all we care about is the fact that if we have six or more lands, lands tap for any color mana. Because again, right, Valky, we do need one mana to play Valky because it is red. Um, we do also get that from Prosperous Innkeeper, but we're not playing any other ways to get red mana. So it's either gonna be the World Tree, Valky, or a way to bring land back from the from the graveyard, like I said, with possibly Gloom Shrieker. And um, again, the games that we played this weekend with this deck are super super sweet this deck is super super fun i highly recommend trying this deck out but i don't want to keep boring you with my rambling i want to hop right into the game so let's do that and we will see you all at the wrap up so yeah this is definitely a a deck that is not playing any early um interaction at all right not even thought seizes no thought seizes, no fatal pushes, no um, go for the throw. It's like nothing like that. Come on, opponent. You got seven cards. I would imagine there's seven cards you've seen before. Oh my god. Well, there goes the Cultivate. Amazing, like <laughs> you get to read every card like three times. I 
I wonder if I just slam this and see if they have removal. Yeah, historic. Historic is very unbalanced right now. This is my home, and I don't appreciate when people touch my things. You won't be outsmarting me. Yep, you did it. I mean, we kind of have to feel like they have another shoulder in their hand, right? That was a great draw. play tapped right yeah okay so I mean we get to get a trium I wonder what's a good card we can name here. Let's name... I'm going to name Valky. Oh, we missed, really. Gloom Shrieker binding. Yep. Does not work, my friend. Reading the card explains the card. Got him. Sure. That's pretty good, right? Like, we, we get a little bit of value out of it. I'm going to name Valky again. Oh. Okay. Well, I really like the blood on the suns in this deck. I mean, it's just a little bit of value, but it's enough, right? Opponent goes first, as is tradition. What the heck is this? Is 
This makes green, right? Double check, triple check. All right, <clears throat> they're gonna tag. We're gonna block, and they'll be like, "Oh, we didn't expect. We didn't expect the block." Oh, sure. That doesn't actually hurt us at all. I wonder if I play this. Play this. Blue, green. Freaking soul herder. You don't want to. You don't want to do the deputy so we can get an extra mana. That'd be sick. Oh, that pumps that? Oh my god, that's pretty sick. Because it's any creature that gets exiled. Ooh, I never thought of that. Okay. Okay. Yeah, like... Alright, off the top. Blood on the snow. Let's go. One time deck. One time. Do you really need to land that bad? Really? Hey, we did it. Yeah, that's pretty decent, but we need a red to flip it. That's uh, pretty uh it's pretty atrocious. It's pretty atrocious. No. All right. Well, let's just draw. Um, let's just draw blood on the snow off the top. That's that's like a blood on the snow, right? Are we dead? I 
So they draw. I mean, they know what we're doing next turn, right? So. I really wanted to be greedy and get the Valky, but I, I need to be able to kill everything again. Like, that's just a priority. I mean, the good news is it doesn't feel like they're playing any flash creatures in their deck. I mean, I guess we're going to find out how this works, right? No, I guess it just works that way. And I guess if they march, we can make it a three cost. Sun Titan. Well, uh, what? <laughs> Sun Titan. And they get back Soul Herder, and then they Soul Herder it, and they get to do it again. I mean, that's pretty good. Okay. That's... Oh, really? I don't agree with that at all. Right? They could have just... Done that and gotten that, right? How does this work? Destroy all creatures. It has begun.
All right, I bet you're scrying. Okay. I mean, that was a pretty good draw. Um, I think you will find my notes I mean, I think we're pretty well in control of this game. Yeah. Yeah, pretty hard to uh, recover from that. I don't think our opponent was playing any creatures that had flash, so... We were definitely afraid of Flash, but yeah, okay. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, burn players. Sniff glue. Uh, this person's got a great name. Nerd Puncher. Um, this is this is an alright hand, because we, we have the innkeeper. Innkeeper's still not sold on the innkeeper. But I think in our deck, because we're not playing a lot of creatures, I think it's this is better than, like, an elf. Because we really only need this one extra mana, so... Sliver? What?! Uh, I'm gonna go get swamp forest, I guess. Uh, no attacks. I probably should attack, but we're not going to. Oh, well, I regret not attacking now. No blocks. Oh, that was a good draw. Swamp. Island, I guess. It doesn't really matter. All of our lands tap for the same Z's. I don't actually want any one of those cards. All right, now we can block, and then after we block, we can we can blood on the snow and get this back. So. What does this do? And there's about it deals one damage. Okay. Beautiful. We can tam we can start tamioing and getting blood on the sun back. It's a little unfortunate, but oh, we just drew one. Seems all right. <clears throat> I think we're just gonna go ahead and grab and try to grab an Ashiok at this point. Do we hit? Yeah, we do. Because we're winners. We are winners. We are good enough. We are smart enough, and gosh darn it, people like us. Um, do we attack? I 
I mean, I don't really feel like there's any world in which we lose this game. Five. We have five. Let me keep a blocker. Um, I'm just trying to get them to play more things out of their hand. I don't really felt like I didn't feel like we needed to blot on the snow there to kill everything. We can like this gives us incentive to block now and get it back. And then if Tamio lives, then we I think we try to hit a Valky. Heart of the cards? Yes, heart of the cards. I need the heart of our opponent playing and interacting with us. Nerd punchers too busy out punching nerds. Oh, there we go. They're back. First strike? Sure. I mean, you know what we're doing, right? Block. All right, all of our creatures gain death touch. Watch out. Did it. We did it. I mean, there this is a concession, right? 100%. Yep, nailed it. Called it. B lockdown. Um, I don't hate this hand. Let's see what land we draw. So now, if they play something, we just immediately binding it, but they don't. So. It lets us do this now, which is good. What is this? Oh, they're playing the uh, uh, the red thing. Oh, what is the red thing called? I can't remember the name of that creature. This thing, Storm Herald. So we need to get down Ashiok. Are we dead? Ancestral Mask. Hexproof? Oh my god, are you kidding me? Hexproof? Swing and a miss. All right. I mean, this card is actually good against them, so.
Oh, you're going to concede? Because we were about to uh, ultimate Ashiok, and then we were going to be able to not really do anything, but I guess... I mean, I guess we make some big things and then attack in, so... Okay. Cool. Hold on, hold on. I gotta think about it. I gotta think about it for a little while. Am I gonna keep this hand? I don't know. All right. Let me think about what lands I'm gonna play. All right. I don't know what are we doing. Actually, would not mind drawing a cultivate here. You're gonna, you're gonna exile it. Go for it, my friend. Go for it. You do you. I mean, they were gonna, they were thinking about pulling the trigger on that. Sorry about the clinging. Forgot I hadn't turned my mic off for that. All right. Well, um, I guess. You know what? Um, I am going to try to hit a cultivate here. Sure. No attacks. Holy crap, a land. Oh, that's probably an angel. No, it's not an angel. Okay. All right. Um, I'm going to try one more time. Oh, we missed again? All right. Ashiok, Ashiok binding. Okay. I don't know why they didn't attack with their youthful Valkyrie last turn. Um, no, this is this is not my deck. The, um, it was a deck that we found, but then we made some adjustments. They were playing like four farewells in it, and then two of the. Um, for, we couldn't figure out why they were playing two cleansing wildfires in the deck. <clears throat> so. Um. I'm just going to say blood on the snow here. Probably hit cultivates now. Nope. Nope. Hmm. No attacks. So yeah, so we put in the blood on the snows instead of the farewells. I don't even know what that does, but it is probably bad. What does a shield counter do? Seems pretty bad. Sure thing.
Oh, I mean, that was a draw, right? No, there's all the cultivates, right? What do you have? Excuse me. <clears throat> so we can casualties away this this counter and kill this land. Oh. Is that a doom scar? Like go after our Tamio, which I'm totally fine with. So remove counters to make one ones. Like, what is this card? Land creature. All right. Shield broken. I mean, I could have just slammed this and exiled it, right? Maybe I should have done that. But I did want to get rid of this land. That's a legendary, right? Okay, I was about to say, like, what are they doing? Like, what do I do here? Like, what do they do if I just play this and, and slam it down, like... All right, let's let's see what happens. Destroy all creatures. Let's get an Ashiok back. <clears throat> and then let's start let's start giving them the business. They definitely have something, right? Like Oh, you did it. What is that? Okay. Sure. So that's what they foretold. This drops to a two.
Okay. Okay. Uh, holy moly, what a what a series of, of draws. So they just probably just drew another one of those. Oh, that was a that was a hit. All right, what are we getting rid of? A four? This just seems like really, really OP. No attacks. All right, I think we, I think we've stabilized against angels. Ah, uh, well, you you thought that was gonna happen, but we've activated, or you've activated our trap card. Okay, I mean, that's pretty good. Um, six, seven, eight, nine, scoop. All right, six, seven, eight, nine, scoop. That's the new dance step that I just uh, I just came up with. We were about to play Tamio, bring back our um, Blood on the Snow, and then go to town, so. Cool, good game. Oberon 051. Are we keeping this? I think so. Esper Sentinel. Hmm. Any of these give first strike? That, that exactly that one gives first strike. Okay. No blocks. But they're stuck on mana right now. How much card draw do I want to give them? Not much. I mean, I guess we're giving them one card draw here. Oh, scoops my goops. Scoops my goops. Let's go. Pretty good hand. Um, okay. Do a cultivate. Don't mind if I do. I would like a swamp and a island and I will 
put a swamp into play. Liliana. a blood on the snow or an ashiok ashiok sometimes you just hit all right here we go activate that liliana please hey <laughs> got him Um, I think I want, what do we got in here? I'm going to go after a blood on this, blood on the snow or maybe a binding. No. Oh, two, we, we would have hit two bindings there. That would have been sick actually. This is actually going to be pretty insane here. Like, that is so much value. Hey, make us sacrifice a creature. <laughs> Come on, you know you want to. You know you want to make a sacrifice a creature and then shame scoop. Come on. Oh, sure. Seven minutes. You know we're just going to hit next turn, right? This Casualties of War is just going to be ridiculous. <clears throat> Got him. All right, do it. Uh, sorry again. Oh, we missed. It's unfortunate. Uh, what's what's in our graveyard? I think I'm gonna guy's blessing. Let's get back blood on the snow. yeah no nah. yeah blood on the snow binding and Valky seems all right. Draw that sweet land that we don't need. They go after Tamiya, like make us discard. Sure thing. That means they might have a thought season in their hand. Okay. 
I mean, we could just... Oh, look at that there draw right there. Look at that there draw right there. All right. Um, planeswalker land. Um, artifacts just because, right? I want them to think that we messed up somehow, right? Even though we know we can't target that. We even could have considered bouncing the one ring. Sure, that's fine. Yep. Sure. Alright, so we don't have anything exiled yet, so I don't think we're going to worry about this, but we are. I'm just going to fire this off. Do I bounce this? That's a lot of cards, right? Keep this land in my hand just in case. Okay. Okay. Oh, so that, that hurts. But we still have a lot. We still have a lot, though. We're, we're still pretty good. Um... Could bring back Valky. I wouldn't mind just bringing back the World Tree, though, depending on what we draw. I wonder how many Bajuka Bogs they play. Um, could bring back Binding, because we're about to lose it. But all of our creatures have Death Touch right now. Um, it's pretty bad if we miss, right? Okay. Sure.
How many snow? Okay, we have we have enough snow land. Um. Yeah, let's bring back a. Going after Ashiok, right? So there we go. No guy's blessing, okay. I'm gonna keep this in my hand. Draw all your cards. No, just in case they kill the Tamiya, right? They They've showed us that they have this, so. We have plenty of time right now, so I'm not super worried. Okay. So we could kill all planeswalkers. Um, I don't necessarily want to do that. I don't need to do that right now. So, uh, scoop. Yeah, I think we were going to win that anyway. I was going to go get a um, binding. Or I was going to try to hit a binding there. And I think if we hit, we just like completely win. But yeah. So. What was this person's name? Buka Buka? This, this is a pretty good hand. All right, like cultivate or innkeepering here doesn't really do anything for us. No. Okay. Well. Okay. All right. You milling us? Oh look, guy is blessing. They're gonna they're gonna concede. Oh, we drew one. Boo. No four. Is it us? Sure. Always forget about Tasha's hideous laughter, but they didn't really hit anything good, so I'm not too overly concerned. Do I cultivate here? I think I do. This actually lets us... Um, Play Tybalt next turn. I'm just hoping they don't hit the our our guy's blessing. I think they just did. They did. That's unfortunate. Maybe we can become the mill deck. Okay, well, I mean, I guess I guess we're going to lose anyway. It's unfortunate.
I mean, that's fine. I mean, I think I think we're about to mill our opponent out. <laughs> Exile all graveyards. <laughs> So many cards. Oh my god. All right. Uh, let's do it. It's so hard to find cards in, in this. Hey, look, all your cards are gone. All right. <laughs> look at us. We're the mill deck now. Oh, oh that was amazing. Uh, amazing. All right, welcome back to the wrap up. And what did I tell you? This deck was so much fun. I loved playing this deck. I've been playing this deck um, off camera on the ladder. It's been crushing. Uh, again, this isn't something that you're going to go and win every game with, but uh, I, I've had great success with this deck. Opponents really don't know how to play against it. Um, yeah, you do lose to some, you know, some of the uh, unfair decks, but this deck, super sweet. And that last game, oh, if you did not love that last game, then you are playing Magic incorrectly. Uh, yeah, so every card I felt like in this deck was just, I mean, A+. Plus. Um I was super impressed with all of the different synergies, being able to bring so many cards back with Gloom Shrieker, um, being able to reshuffle with Gaia's Blessing, being able to recur with Tamiyo, um, you know, playing, making creatures with Ashok, but honestly, just bouncing with Ashok just found, just felt so, so good. Destroying things with Binding of the Old Gods. Casualties of War, oh my God, I feel like I want Casualties of War in every single one of my historic decks because uh, it's just a great card. I feel like it's just one of those, uh, at least in my in my eye and in my world of magic, it's one of those super iconic arena cards. Not necessarily a paper magic card, but it's for me, it's just a very iconic arena card. Uh, I love that card. Blood on the Snow is so perfect. Um, I do feel like there were some times where I, I would have liked uh, to have had Farewell on the deck. But again, I didn't add Farewell because... I didn't want to add that fifth color to the deck. I wanted to try to make this as Sultai as possible. And I, I still feel like this is just a pure Sultai deck. Yes, Valky um, is black on one side and then Rakdos on the other. And then the Rakdos technically makes this a four color deck. But at the same time, it's not because we have World Tree, we have Innkeeper. And there are even times where you blood on the snow and you just bring back an Innkeeper just so you can get that treasure token. Um, so you can cast Valky uh, or Tibalt. Um, this deck, there is so much versatility. There's so many good synergies. Uh, I highly recommend it. But yeah, you know, tell me what you would potentially change about this deck. Tell me if you think this deck was great. Tell me if you enjoyed the game. So uh, do that. Like, comment, subscribe. Check out all the links down below. Again, please hop on over to the Discord. I would love to interact with each and every one of you. I would also love to see you in the Twitch streams, twitch.tv slash BA Matumbo. And again, I do have my TikTok link down below. I'm trying to push that, trying to get some more subscribers um, or followers, what, whatever they call them on that platform, trying to be able to go live. And I need quite a few more. So if you could help me out, that would be amazing. But with that being said, I really hope you enjoyed today's deck. It was a lot of fun. I'm glad I was able to bring it to you. Again, shout out to Skovax over on uh, Etherhub. I don't know if, if they watch my videos. Um, if they do, 
uh, again, thanks. This deck's a lot of fun. I really appreciate you posting it. Um, my apologies, you know, if, if I if I did your deck injustice by taking out the farewells um, and the um, the land destruction spell that I just re realized that I didn't mention. Uh, there were two copies of Cleansing Wildfire in this deck. Um, I wasn't 100% sure why they were in there. But again, we just brought it all together, I feel like, with a really cool deck. So with that being said, everyone, please stay safe, and we will see you all next time. Thank <laughs> you.